May I present Dr. Saifur Rahman, President, IEEE PES USA. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Thank you for the nice introduction. Honorable chief guests and the dais, gentlemen and the dais, friends of IEEE, EMA, Elakrama, Posoko, PGCIL, CEA, and many others. I come to Delhi often, even though I don't live in this part of the world, so I know the industry reasonably well. What I'll do today, briefly talk about IEEE, talk about the challenges faced by the power industry, US and globally, and how my society, IEEE Power Energy Society, which I am the president, will be working with you and the others to help the situation. So first of all, IEEE is a global organization with 435,000 members globally. It's big, the biggest society of any kind in the world, IEEE. Out of that number, 55,000 live in India. India is the second highest membership beyond US within IEEE. It's a big number. We are very proud of that number in IEEE. The big number is 55,000. Two thirds of that number are students. The remaining third are working engineers. The biggest challenge we have is to go to the working engineer and tell him or her what can IEEE do for them. That's a challenge I have always. We can talk about that, networking, meeting people, and so on and so forth. My one sentence answer is the younger generation, IEEE gives you a platform where you can learn about other things besides your own area of focus. This day and age, the job is not guaranteed for life. As an young engineer, you must be versatile, know other things, so it gives you the tool to easily change jobs for whatever reason you are faced with. That is the platform IEEE provides. IEEE has 40 societies, starting from computers, communications, power, electronics. I'll name two of them, which you don't expect. One of them is IEEE Society for Engineering and Medicine and Biology. Medicine and Biology Society, IEEE. Other is Management Society. We have doctor members, lawyer members, people from Accenture member in IEEE membership. So it's very broad. The so point is, this is a big tent. Come join us. We'll help you to do things. My society, power and energy. Those two words are very broad these days. We have standards, we have communities, technical committees work on what? Cybersecurity, battery storage, how to deal with failure rates, how to deal with standards that deal with how to connect a line when the line falls because some tree fell on the line. Very different kinds of things go on in our society. So that's IEEE in very brief statements. We are global. We are in 172 countries, so we are all over the place, India being the second largest. Then the question is, challenges that I see faced by utilities globally. The big thing is high penetration of renewables into the grid. Big deal, Germany, many other countries included, India, New Delhi, for example. New Delhi has a strong program for rooftop solar. So I was visiting Tata Power DTL last year, and their headache is so many people have roofed up solar in the afternoon, their demand goes down. And they have excess capacity, what to do with it? That's power company makes money by being supplying power. That's changing. So what I see happening in the power industry now, historically, how we design the system. We have some load, we predict load growth. Based on that prediction, we provide generation. It's called load-driven generation. It's not reversed. Now, generation is the un unknown. How much solar, how much wind. Now the load has to adjust to available power to make sure we use the best way. Now the philosophy has changed from growing load to generation changing its phase, how to deal with this. I know in Germany, Hawaii, in some lines, more solar power than the demand. What do you do? Talk about those issues in the terms of power society. Now the question is, how can we engage utilities in our business? We are membership-driven, 435,000 members globally. 
We have a new program now where we can go to a corporation, company, vendor, manufacturer who will become corporate members and they will be given ex access to our standards, our meetings, our committee activities, and then company X becomes a member and they will make 10 of their engineers, 100 of their engineers become corporate members. Other thing you have done to engage utility is called industry engagement. We will engage with maybe CEA, maybe POSOCO, maybe PGCIL in here, maybe Marshall Electric uh, Board, so that we are partners in dealing with these challenges. And the final issue is EMA is very big here. We'll be happy to work with EMA under Electrum umbrella so that we can show how manufacturers are actively participating in IEEE standards. We have standard making committees where Siemens, where you have IBM, where you have ABB, Schneider, many companies are members and their engineers come to work with us, develop standards. So it's a big, big tent. I'll be here all day today, part of tomorrow. So please stop and ask. We have staff from IEEE office in India at this meeting. So please take advantage of this. It's a networking opportunity, but we can provide much, much more than you think to make your life easier, and especially young generation who can be participating in our activities going forward. Thank you very much.